that's not cute. Ah! Let me know in the comments if you were screaming, how are you gonna get into that? Okay, okay. I Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I'm super excited about this series we have going on cultivating a spring upcycle wardrobe. And this one is more about what are you gonna wear when you wanna lounge around, when you wanna just run to the grocery store and still look cute. So I have seen this free people romper, like ribbed romper that I thought was super cute. I seen a couple of the fashion girls wear it and I am just loving it. So I went to my thrift store and I found a too big ribbed shirt and we are going to attempt to make this. Okay, here's the top that I'm gonna use for this tutorial. This is an extra, extra large. It depends on the brand, like sizing. So you just want to go ahead and try it on and you want to figure out, is it wide enough, you know, that you're gonna have a enough room to fit like you want it to fit at the end? And also, is it long enough? And another thing, you want to make sure that you have some length on the arms so that you have some excess to cut off and use for the crotch part of the romper and to add pockets if that's what you wanna do. All right, so I have a heat erasable marker. You can do this with a sliver of soap or with a pen, safety pen. I'm going to mark on my wrist like how far up I want the same part of the sleeve to go. For me, that's at my wrist because I like the it to go over my wrist. That just makes me feel great as a long armed person. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna get to keep that much of the sleeve, which is perfect because we need extra fabric. I have it laid flat and folded in half so that my mark is showing. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the sleeve off at the mark. Of course, we wanna leave a little bit of seam allowance. And the next thing we want to do is go ahead and remove, I know it's not going to be fun, but we want to remove the ribbing on the end of both sleeves. All right, so now we have our pieces. Um, I didn't, I wasn't able to use many hacks <laughs> to make that faster. So I just did it as quickly as I could, as quickly and as carefully as I could. And somebody did give me this tip to use a uh, lint roller to get your threads off. And that works really, really well. So thank you guys. A bunch of you guys told me about that. So thank you guys so much for telling me about that trick. So now we can take our sleeve piece and go ahead and sew it back on. And I'm just going to fold it over, add a few clips. I always like to make sure I line up seams. That's the way it was. And so I'm gonna put it back that way. So I'm gonna stretch and sew the armband back to the shirt on both sleeves. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely this series is heating up. I am so excited about the pieces that we have coming up. Hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. All right, so the next thing we want to do is cut the curve. We want to mark down at the bottom, like how far I want the, it to go in in the middle. Um, because we're not putting it all the way in like this, we're not just gonna sew a seam like that. That will make it look like that. That's not cute. <laughs> um, but I can see very specifically from the inspiration how this is done. So I'm hoping that this is pretty easy. So I think it should come up to about right there. And the reason I'm doing that is because that's how far I want it from my crotch. Like my crotch is here and I want it to go to right here. So that gives me just a little bit of a curve right there. Like I said, we're not gonna make our curve way big. It's only gonna be a pretty shallow curve. Um, so I'm going to fold this in half to make sure that my curve is actually even on both sides. And I'm just gonna cut it and that's what we have on the bottom. I want to take one of the extra sleeve pieces and I want to add it to here. Thing is, is that I want it to go along this way where the ribbing is in this direction because I don't really want it to stretch this way, but I do want it to stretch this way, right? 
I want it to stretch this way so it'll give some give me some give in my butt area um, and stuff like that. All I'm gonna do is take one of these and open up the seam. I'm not gonna seam rip this time. Don't need to. I don't know how wide I want it to be. Let's try five inches. And what I'm gonna do is just fold these good side to good side and sew them together. And for this stretchy material, I am using this very shallow zigzag stitch, um, 2.9 length, 0.6 width. All right, so here's what we have. This piece, I did serge the edge. I will probably, once we find out whether this is long enough, I will probably fold this down and top stitch this just to make it look clean. I'm going to put the middle, we're gonna clip it and figure out whether this is enough. It looks like it's gonna be like perfect. I'm gonna make that match and clip. And I do not wanna stretch this while I'm sewing it. I don't want that crotch all out of whack. All right, so then we can go ahead and sew this to this side of the romper. Let's add some pockets. All right, so we wanna cut this apart. This is the other extra sleeve piece and I'm just snipping it right next to the seam. All right, so we are going to make these pockets as big as we can. So all I wanna do is just square this off. There's very little waste with this project, which is really cool. So we have two pockets. The first thing we're going to do is fold over the top of the pocket and sew down a hem. All right, so we have the hem in and all we're going to do is just make sure that the rest of it is folded over and ironed. And if you're nervous about the placement of these pockets, definitely pin them down, try it on, and then sew them. All right, so we're gonna sew our pockets down, top stitch along the edge, and the other one as well. This, guy, this side came out pretty much perfect, but if you guys know what stitch I should use, should I just make the stitch bigger, like a longer stitch, just to make this not wavy, because like it was waving up like crazy, and I didn't want to stretch it, but ooh, that's horrid. All right, before we sew down the other side, we have our pockets on, and we are ready to sew down the other side. But <laughs> let me know in the comments if you were screaming, how are you gonna get into that? Because I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think about it. Because the original idea was to buy something with the buttons down the front, just like the inspiration. But no, I did not do that. So once again, I have made a simple upcycle more complicated. Yay me. Um, hmm, I think it would be easier maybe maybe not to add a zipper so i took this zipper off of a um, long long time ago a faux leather coat that started to fall apart and i just took the zippers and so i think i'm going to try to add this zipper i'm not sure if i'm going to do it as an external zipper or internal zipper i just marked the middle of the zipper and how long that's that before i cut and the idea is that we just fold it back just a tiny bit and slip that zipper in. At the bottom, we snip to the side and to the side. And this folds down, this folds over, let's iron. And I wanna say a special thank you to one of my class members, Jackie, who made me realize that I could just set this iron up right next to my cutting table and have it ready to iron every time I upcycle, because I hate ironing. Absolutely hate ironing, but this is not bad. Okay, let's see if this works. Let's see if we can do this, close it up, and be done. Ah! All right, so we are back. It doesn't look, it doesn't look absolutely horrendous. Um, but I tell you what, something I learned today, I H-A-T-E the zipper foot on the Burnett B77. Like literally, I never used a more horrible zipper foot. Just the standard one, the metal one is amazing. I don't know why people always feel like they need 
feel the need to, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not happy. Um, I just need to get a regular one for that sewing machine. If it exists, let me know if you know if it does. All right, so we're gonna turn this inside out and go ahead and clip this side. And then we'll go ahead and make that last stitch. All right, so we had a little bit of trouble right there at the end. I don't know why I didn't think about that, but we figured it out. Everything is okay. So let's see how it turned out. You send me right out into space. digging this piece definitely to wear around the house to run to the grocery store i do wish that i had a, added a longer zipper because i really like that off the shoulder effect like the one free people because the buttons go down to like right here so you can open it up and kind of have it around your uh shoulders i like that effect right now i'm like wiggling my way through it because although i do not have hips i do have a butt so <laughs> i was barely able to get into it but you know you live, you learn. And if we're talking about mistakes, I have been striking out kind of a lot lately. I'll show you pictures of this ruffle sleeve top that was supposed to go out a couple weeks ago, but couldn't because I messed up in a way that couldn't be fixed with those garments. I had to go out and buy new shirts. So the color will be completely different, but we're going to do it. We're, I want to get it right before I teach it so that you can get it right. And we are going to move forward. I have other videos for you to watch right here. Definitely check those out and hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.